Happy Halloween, everybody. And um, this is another uh, impromptu video. This video I've been wanting to make since yesterday, since the news broke out about Junya Ikirai being arrested. Um, it kind of hit me home when I read the news yesterday um, because it, it affected me in unexpectedly. Reason being is because of, you know, I wrote to him, like I sent him a fan letter because if you remember in September, um, he posted something on X that he was feeling depressed and he needed his fans to send him fan mail to help him, you know, get back on his feet because he suffered, he's suffering from depression. And it's it's been known for a very long time, and and there were fans uh, online giving out the addresses, um, the address, sorry, uh, of his agency, and how you write the letter because it's Japan and it's different for from it's different how you send letters and how to write letters in every country. It's just the setup, and. You know, there were fans out there really giving the word out, word out that, hey, uh, Junya Ikidai is in a bad place right now. And if you want to help, you know, just send him a fan letter. Here's the address and sent it. And that's what I did. And now a month later, I read this, this article saying that uh, he allegedly um, was arrested due to fraud and I'm like I'm confused I'm angry I'm sad like why did he do this like of course it's innocent until proven guilty but I'm going to read the article and you'll be shocked by by just Look, just reading all along with me, and mind you, let me say, let me give a disclaimer on a couple of things here. One, I'm not a journalist. Two, um, this is all alleged, and of course, it's innocent until proven guilty. Uh, and yeah, and another thing too, this is I I don't have notes in front of me this comes from the heart and my mind and and yeah whatever comes out comes out it's raw and I'm of course you fans my audience appreciate you know the fact that it comes from the heart and not from a written script so please do forgive me if my thoughts are all scrambled and and all that stuff because right now I still just reading this again and going through his tweets it really is hard because I'm trying to find out the timeline of like how he got depressed and 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 it's just the timeline I just don't understand like I really don't I really don't understand and it's funny because I'm not necessarily a super fan at all it's just it affected me so much when uh, it affected me so much because you know I gave him like a fan letter and I know it the way it sounds like it, it so you got affected because you sent him a fan mail it sounds so stupid yes I know but still it's just I, I felt like a connection towards a uh, junior due to he suffers from depression I suffer from depression and I felt like I was helping this guy go like go through his depression by writing a letter like hey you know I'm a I saw you in Gokaija you were great I also saw you in Goro and and you were great too and and just giving him positive vibes that he needed to hear you know I thought I was doing the right thing I was helping somebody in need and that's why this affected me so much because this happened in September and and the news of him getting uh, being arrested happened in October 
it's just it doesn't make any sense at all and without further ado let me read this article to you it says that talent agency Baru announced that they have terminated the contract of actor Junya Ikirai due to the actor being arrested for participating in special fraud. Um, the actor was arrested last October 26 and was terminated from his contract with his agency on the 27th due to the seriousness of the case. According to a senior official at the Johto uh, police uh, station, Ikirai is suspected of conspiring with his associates to defraud a man in Koto Ward, Tokyo, out of his cash card this year. He allegedly visited the man's home and posed as a police officer. His involvement came to light thanks to security camera footage and other sources. On, this, on a statement released last October uh, 30th, which was yesterday, um, Baru revealed that the reason for the delay about this announcement is due to them not being able to talk directly to the actor as he is currently prohibited from meeting other from meeting with other people. They are sincerely uh, they sincerely apologize to to the great inconvenience and pain that it caused to those people who are affected. They also apologize to all the fans who supported Ikirai on a daily basis. And you can see his, you know, his credits here. And it's just, when I read this yesterday and now today, I still am confused and angry. And the fact that Ikirai pose as a police officer into a man's home and and just to take his cash card like Junya like are you really strapped for cash like what's going on like I refuse to believe that you have money problems because you've been on stage you've been do lending your voice into the anime world you've been through like multiple dramas I believe the rec the recent one I remember you like you uh Junior did the reunion for Go Kaija and that was some time ago and it's just I don't understand and it's just it it's just puzzling to me because of the timeline like w when did he did like when did he participate in this crime while he was in before during his depression after i have honestly i don't have any uh, any theories at all i'm just like i want answers man i want answers and i went through his twitter account and as you can see here on august 4th this is where junia participated in his play his stage play and he couldn't participate uh, on the 5th and the 6th due to health reasons and then things get even more interesting you could say like here on August 8th he tweeted I can't find the words I'm I'm sorry I would appreciate it if you give me some time so I think this is where his depression really got hit. And then you go here and this is on August 29th where he is pretty much being too hard, too hard on himself. He's being harsh to himself because if you can read here, I don't want to make this video too long, but as you can see here, you know, he's just like, I realized that I shouldn't run away forever. I I will try to, you know, to speak as much as possible in my own words. First of all, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude. Um, he's terribly sorry. It, it all happened because I was overconfident in myself. I used up all my strength before the first day. I'm... And it's shameful act, unprofessional, and and it's just I don't understand why 
Junior is being too harsh on himself when he you just got you're sick. What can like? There's no way you could pre prevent it that you, you could you, if you're sick, you're sick. It sucks. It was on, it happened on the first day, but you, you know you will come back stronger than ever. So I'm just like, why are you being too harsh on on yourself here? And then you hit to the next tweet here, which is on September 6th. And this is where the depression really hits. And I'm not going to read the whole thing here. You can go to his Twitter account and you can read it for yourself. But this is where we get, you know, him being depressed here and and says, I'm being I've been an actor for 17 years. And, you know, I made it. It's weird the translation his, but uh, he made his debut on the 14th. He lived alone and and he pretty much grew up pretty fast as a child actor. He never experienced a normal life like us. He grew up in an adult world and he and he has he has expressed sadness that he never got to experience childhood because he was being an actor for such a young age. And you see here that he doesn't have a family that he that, that can forgive me or give him a helping hand. That if he needed help, he had to do it on his own. Um, and he starts to question himself, like, who is me? Like, who am I? Uh, you know, like, he doesn't know his true self because, you know, for years he's been playing other people. But he never got a, a glimpse of, like, okay, who is a Junya Ikirai? Who is he? Because, I mean, I get it because after you being a child actor for so many years grew up in that world who just you know performing and being other people you're like you ask yourself who am I really who am I and you know he goes on and on and this is the last part here let me see uh I don't think this is it but he just con continues on and he just venting and I think in this next tweet, ah, yes, yes. So this is this tweet here. This is where he asks his fans, like, hey, if you know, can you please, like it says over here, would it be possible to receive a letter from you in any language? I want to read your own letter with within, written by your own hands and heart, not words made up on uh, you know, granite dots and lines. I would think we could move forward with that. I don't know, but that's how I feel. So this is the part where not only he is venting, but he's asking fans that, hey, can you write me a handwritten letter and send it to me? It will really help me out here. And then going back to here, this tweet on September 9th, this is where he's starting to feel better, you know, Good morning, I'm fine. I have reached a, a huge amount of messages from people all over, over the world. My heart is full of surprise and gratitude that so many people knew me, supported me, and needed me. I will repay this kindness to you in the future, uh, in my future works. Thank you. I'm happy to be born in this wonderful world. And this is the last tweet here where you, where he takes a picture of this pile of fan mail I'm not sure if mine is in that pile but I did send one and he says thank you for the continued support I want to immerse myself in reading every single word of it and make it my flesh and blood thank you so much and this is on September 11th of 2023 and the rest of the tweets after this is mostly him promoting his works, his projects, his painted nails, and that was it. And then leading up to his arrest, it, it's just like what happened during that time? That's my question. 
like I want answered like what happened um and I feel bad for his kids because he has two kids I'm I'm not sure if, if he's married to the woman he, that bore his kids that's unknown but uh, but I'm I I feel bad for his friends I'm not even sure his co-stars from Kokaija are in connections but if they are I feel bad for them as well it, it, it's just it's bad all around and I was compelled to make this video because again I, it's just like I mentioned earlier I heard the call that he needed help I wrote him a letter and in just hearing this yesterday and today about him um, Junya being arrested and committed a crime a, a heinous crime because I mean fraud like like fraud and like you're stealing money from other people and what special fraud means is is pretty much the gist of it you're stealing money from other people mostly people who are vulnerable and the elderly and according to some other article that I read allegedly he was impersonating a loved one through a phone or internet to, and asking them for money which again Julia like were you strapped for cash why are you stealing other people's money and impersonating people like what's going on and where did you get that police uniform it's just like I, I don't say that to be funny it's just like what the hell I'm not a fan fan of his but I felt a connection and and it's just I don't know guys I, I just feel so angry confused I, I just I want answers but but here's the thing before I wrap up here and if it's long if it's a long video I hope you forgive me um, but here's what what I've been wondering and think just about things um and you can tell uh, it's not scripted at all this is just coming from my heart and from my mind um like look he's innocent until pro proven guilty and he if if he's proven to be guilty of course he needs to pay for his crimes um but he, if he's innocent you know, I just hope that he could get his career back if he is proven innocent. But based on what I just read on this article, it looks pretty dim. And if he's proven guilty, I mean, I feel horrible for his friends and family, his kids. And for him as well, like, I don't know what compelled him to do such a thing and it, it's just I'm worried for him because he has depression he has critical like critical depression but he has depression what I'm worried about is that is there a possibility that Junior may hurt, harm himself and that's why I personally think that the police need to have a watchful eye on him because I'm afraid that, that he will self-harm himself he will he will some harm himself and and I'm like I'm hope to God I'm hoping to God that I don't get any news before the end of the year that hey actor Junior Ikirai has passed away due to self-harm and that's the last thing anybody in the tokusatsu community will want to hear seriously he's so young he's like in his 30s he still looks like an 18 20 year old based on this picture 
and it's just I we lost so many people in 2023 I don't want him I don't want his name to be added to that list I really don't and it, it's it's tragic it's tragic and you see I've seen him playing guy and he's happy and giddy but it's just it's so surreal and I, I it's just I'm at loss for words I'm at loss of, of words um it's just but seriously though he needs to be watched 24 7 I don't care because with someone who has severe depression like mental issues you really really need to have somebody keep a watchful eye because when you are in that level with so much trouble with the alleged uh, case I mean the the alleged fraud and it, it's just and his his career is pretty much over me personally I think that his agency should have have suspended his contract and and just waited until the trial if the trial says that he he that junior is proven to be guilty then I would have terminated his contract and recasted the whole shebang but what they did in my personal opinion was premature they they should have just suspended it suspended his contract and just wait until the trial that's what I would have done but I don't know his career whether he is proven innocent or not it may as well be over and we we might never going to see another Golkaija reunion ever again because of this I'm hoping that he's innocent but again based on the article that I just read and if it's more evidence going against Junya I'm afraid that he's heading to prison but I don't know guys I, I, I'm I sad I'm confused I'm angry like I don't know man I'm the important thing is to pray for his well-being pray for his kids pray for his family pray for Junya himself because I am very concerned I'm very concerned about his mental health and and what he will do to himself if he's left alone so I doubt this will reach you know the officers or in Japan I doubt it but please please like I hope to God there's no more bad news that come across this because again I know I'm repeating myself here but this is important I just hope to God that I don't hear news before the year is out that um, Junya Ikirai has self-deleted himself I hope to God not because it's, it's gonna be very tragic very tragic and yeah I don't know what to say really I don't know what to say what I can do is if there's any news in regards to uh, Junya's uh, arrest his case I will do my best to let you guys know on another video I just hope to God I don't make a video of, of his passing I hope to God I d I really don't I really don't want to make that I don't um yeah so this is kind of raw so I please do forgive me of the whole stumbling of the words and that sort of thing and I do apologize on that but hopefully this video is short enough but I doubt it but if you want to re read the article I will send you the link and if you want to go through his tweets um, I recommend just write the actor's name on the on Twitter X and and go by go through August to September 11th and there you 
you will read yourselves because as you can tell from two of the tweets they're pretty long and I couldn't I didn't want to go through all that so yeah I don't want to make this video long long as it is so thank you so so much for listening and um again pray for Junya Ikirai and and his friends and family and especially his two kids um as you can tell my tummy is rumbling so I have to go eat um Thank you so, so much for listening. Happy Halloween. Please be safe out there. Give a prayer. And I'll see you all on the other side of oblivion. Johnny.